We evolved from discovering fire, living in caves and hunting moths, to living in sky-high, lavish concrete buildings, eating thousands of different foods according to our taste, and moving from one corner to the other corner of the world within a couple of hours. From horse-drawn carriages to the invention of motor cars, from manual cars to autonomous electric cars by companies like Tesla, artificial intelligence and technology have played a vital role in providing comfort and luxury to the public. Today, we have gates that open and close all by themselves. We have robots working for us on a large scale in factories. We have the internet that can take us to places while staying at home and so much more. With so many advancements in technology taking place, we now have one more shocking invention on the list, flying cars. After the invention of autonomous cars, flying cars are next on the list. Airbus, a commercial airline, recently completed the test on a completely pilotless commercial flight. A survey in 2019 found that 70% of 22,000 travelers feel ready to fly in a fully autonomous aircraft. But how about a fully autonomous vertical takeoff and landing flying car? We have seen a lot of examples of flying cars in movies and cartoons, but now the future is here. To begin with, for those who don't know about Kitty Hawk's vehicles, it is an aerial vehicle startup that's funded by Google's co-founder Larry Page. Kitty Hawk has introduced some exceptional vehicles including the Flyer, Cora, and Heaviside, which entirely define the future of transportation and a way to get away from the traffic on roads, especially if you have to reach your destination quickly. According to the company, the Flyer, a recreational and lightweight aircraft, could be operated after only an hour's worth of training before. Pilots with even zero aviation experience can be ready to fly the vehicle in no time. The Flyer is an airborne trimaran that is not only easy to fly but is exceptional in terms of speed as well. The middle pod, where the pilot sits, is structured just like a Formula One car cockpit. It is lined with a pair of propellers that help it land on water as well as on the ground, with two beams projecting from their sides. With one seat and ten propellers, it is 13 feet long, 7.5 feet wide and 5 feet tall. The aircraft weighs only a total of 250 pounds thanks to the carbon fiber construction. Powered by electricity, it's remarkably quiet. It takes off, lands, and flies a bit like a helicopter. This is a personal flying car that can be landed on water, but isn't an automated flying car. The cost of this vehicle is expected to be between five and $10,000. Their latest flying vehicle, known as Heaviside, was introduced by the company back in 2019. An ultra-quiet vehicle which is not a self-flying car, but an electric aircraft that can be operated by anyone at all. An electric plane that is capable of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter, but only as much as 100 times quieter than a helicopter. Super fast and compact in size, this flying car can cover 160 kilometers without making a single drop of noise. Well, that's pretty fascinating. The heavy side emits a mere 38 decibels, making it as loud as a library or a babbling brook, and this quality makes it stand out from the rest of the vehicles. However, there is space for only one person to sit and fly the vehicle. The cost of this aircraft has not been announced yet as some modifications are yet to be made. But the star of their show is their vehicle Cora, a self-flying taxi. We have seen various examples of self-driving cars and even a self-flying plane from Airbus, but this is something phenomenal. On the 2nd of December 2019, it was announced that the Boeing company and Kitty Hawk Corporation established a joint venture forming the new company called Whisk, which would use a self-flying taxi as a means of transportation. After almost eight years of secretive eVTOL developments by Z Aero, Cora was first revealed on the 12th of March 2018 and was backed by Larry Page. That day, Kitty Hawk announced that it had been flying a two-seat eVTOL aircraft named Cora in California and New Zealand, and the test flights were highly successful. Safety is the first thing everyone is concerned about when it comes to autonomous electric vehicles, whether that's a car or a flying taxi. An autonomous eVTOL aircraft backed up with 12 independent electric-powered lifting propellers mounted on its 36-foot long wings for vertical takeoffs and landings. A three-bladed pusher propeller providing the force required for flight, it has all the technology required for a safe flight, and the tricycle wheel structure ensures stationary landing gear. Programmed with the latest sensors and artificial intelligence technology, Cora is absolutely a safe option to go for. Other safety precautionary measures include the presence of distributed electric propulsion DEP, that allows multiple propellers for VTOL flight. It would work even if some of the propellers stop working for any reason, and the aircraft will still land safely. A triple redundant flight computer is equipped with three independent flight computers that each calculate its location, so even if there's an issue with one of them, the aircraft can still rely navigate. There is not even a single point of failure. 
The aircraft also has a parachute if everything else fails. Though it ensures absolute safety and comfort with the help of their back-end software, a lot of people are still skeptical about taking this as an option. However, it will soon be operative and the company promises this to be one of the best modes of transport if you have to be somewhere quick or avoid the traffic jams on the road. A comfortable ride to your destination with all the privacy you want.